Our mutual friend needs your help. But we must be cautious. Here, she wanted me to give you this letter. Dear friend, I do not know how much longer my shaking hand will hold a quill, so I shall be brief. I believe the demon we thought we slew in the sewers was able to escape death by using me as its next host. Please, come to me in Quera's cellar if you can. You're the only one I can trust to help. My life is in your hands. before I... Oh, oh, it's you. Thank goodness. The sister is in the cellar. Come quickly. And thank you for trying to save my poor Vasik. I know you tried your best. The Cathedral of Light used to perform these kinds of rituals whenever anyone was in need. But it seems that lately they would rather burn the demon along with the victim. I still believe in the Father and His Holy Grace. But I couldn't let that happen to the sister. Not after she saved my boy. No matter what happens to me. Since she collapsed in my arms while telling me what happened to my Vosik, I was going to find a night penitent to help her, but she pleaded with me not to, asked me to hide her and tell any other priest that came looking that I had not seen her. Truth be told, I had to wrestle with that. Lying to the cathedral came close to turning her in more than once. But then I remembered that when I needed help, she did not ask any questions. She was just there, ready to do whatever she could. Well, she deserves the same. <laughs> I knew... You would... Don't have much time. You need to perform blood rites, exorcise demon. What? I cannot. You need my prayer book, but Chalice is lost. Need to get new one. Where? Margrave. Matve. He is jealous keeper. Be wary. He is suspicious. You may need to deceive. Please. Hurry.
Who are you to demand such a thing? None but those who have dedicated their lives to worship may touch the holy implements. I am on a solemn task from the Reverend Mother Prava herself. Shall I tell her you are unwilling to fulfill her request? Oh, oh uh, please, forgive me. It is so rare to hear any news from Kyovershad, let alone from the Reverend Mother herself. I am honored. Here, here. It will need to be consecrated first, of course. Anointed in the blood of sinners. There are deserving brigands skulking in the caves to the east. We are far from Kyovoshad, friend, beyond their notice or care. But the father sees our light burn from high atop his glacier. He knows that Margrave will suffer no evil. <laughs> Many were bandits, murderers. Others... Dear friends, good, light-tending folk, until they embraced evil. We must not share the fate of Nevesk. Examples must be made. Now, take a piece of the burning wood from this holy pyre and place it in the blood. 
and do stand back. Excellent. The Reverend Mother was wise to choose you for this task. The chalice is now ready for her. And uh, please do give her my most respectful regards. Thank the light you're back. The sister has taken a turn for the worse. Right after you left, the sister, she... Well, the demon inside her is speaking through her. She's in terrible pain. She told me about the chalice. Here, I'll place it while you prepare. We must hurry. Your friend die. Please save her. Father Inarius, as I shed my wicked blood, let it be purified in thy light. Let the light fill the darkness within all of us. Oh, your pitiful chanting again. Are you so eager to watch me freeze her blood? Let the light push out the darkness, hiding within this woman. Father, force this demon out. I knew it! I knew you were involved in something abhorrent! No! Stop him! <gasps> Stop this instant! The Reverend Mother will learn of this heresy! I will see you all burn! Father, forgive me! Uh! Hurry, finish it! Light, purge the wickedness! Enough! I tire of this! Sister, no! 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 How is she still fighting? Impossible! Sister? Sister! Please, say something! Please wake up! Ugh... It's too bloody cold down here. Oh! <laughs> Oh, light be praised! Yes, you did well. The demon is truly banished. I'm impressed you were able to copy the ritual so quickly. It took me ages to master. Sister Octavia, you are all right. But this... People have engaged in blasphemy of the highest sort. Lying, stealing holy implements, brutalizing a priest of the cathedral. 
They will burn on the pyre before the day is out. How could you be so rash when the Reverend Mother... Oh, and what will you tell Prava? That you allowed a commoner to so easily deceive her holy representative? That you abandoned your flock in Margrave and left them with no guidance from the lights? If I am to be tied to that horrific pyre, then you shall be there with me. <coughs> no. Uh, I... I suppose... I have been away from Margrave over long. I should return swiftly. But, Sister Octavia, please, take better care of yourself. The cathedral is stronger with you on your feet than in a sickbed. My friend, give me just a moment and I will meet you outside. You deserve a proper thanks. And thank you, Peter Quera. I know it wasn't easy for faithful folk to do what you did for me. Sister, you saved my boy. There was no choice to make. Uh, if we did not do everything we could to save you, how could we call ourselves followers of the light? Yes, I can already feel the warmth returning. Thank you, my friend. I put a great deal of weight upon your shoulders. I asked you to lie for me, to put yourself in grave danger. If you had rejected me, I couldn't say I'd blame you. But you didn't. You saved me. And in so doing, saved countless others I can still help. What about Priest Matvey? Are you worried he will cause trouble? <laughs> no. He will keep what he's seen to himself. Hopefully, I can teach the rest of the clergy to have a bit more faith in the members of their congregation. I want you to have this. It's not much, really, but I hope it brings you some measure of good fortune. Thank you again. You will always have a friend in the cathedral. <laughs>